Hey guys, Neil here from Rep Blog Face doing another tutorial for the Prussian Mendel. This is going to be going over the general electronic setup for the Prussian Mendel. Um, for this one, you're going to need whatever electronics you decided to use. Uh, for this um, video, we're using the Gen 6 Electronics by MendelParts.com. Uh, there's also Gen 3 by MakerBot, Gen 4 by MakerBot, um, ramps, electronics which are printable, and then a commercial derivative of it which is still open source, sold by Ult, um, Ultimachine.com. Uh, let's see. Uh, you're going to need your electronics, three opto in-stop R pieces, RP pieces, which look like this right here, like an H. Um, you're also going to need three opto in stops, which can either be the um, opto variety or it can be a switch. Uh, you're going to need your three bolts to screw them in, your six washers, three nuts, and whatever you decide to use to restrict your cables. Um, you will notice on this one that um, my setup's actually in some ways different than the wiki. Go with the wiki, and um, what it happened was I started copying Prussia in one of his videos before I went through and checked the wiki information. So this one, according to the wiki, should be back here. This one should be over here. But I did get this one right. So this is the opto emplacement for the z-axis. Opto emplacement for the x-axis. Which again, it doesn't really matter where you put them. As long as your flag gets, you're good. Um, so there's the um, X Opto and the Y Opto. Uh, also, when you do your electronics, you need to make sure that you have enough slack in your wires here so that when your um, X trolley goes all the way over to the right, you notice how there's still slack here. Um, get in here. You can see that my heater and my thermistor are hooked up. There, stepper wires for the um, extruder. I have them run through this black tube and down to the electronics. Um, one unique thing about the Prussian Mendel is that it has two Z axis motors. The um, reason that this is done is because the Z axis motors only cost you about $12, but by the time you buy all the hardware to do the belting, um, it isn't costing you more than $12. So it's best just to go ahead and do the Prussia Mendel instead of the original Sales Mendel version just because it ends up saving money and it gives you a whole lot more power on your Z-axis. That way you're not going to have as many jams. Uh, one thing you're going to notice is I haven't taped these yet. Um, you do need to wrap tape here and across here to hold the uh, motors down. But anyway, uh, easiest way to wire the Z-axis in parallel, I found, is to run this motor over to the motor that is on the same side as your electronics. And then put both um, sets of wires in each one side of the terminal block. And then have your um, leads going to your electronics come out the other side. That's the easiest way I've found. Um, you can also just solder them together. But... I like having access to be able to unscrew the motors. But anyway, so um, there's that. Um, you can mount the electronics anywhere you want. You can actually mount them here. Uh, Clement, who's one of the designers of the Prussia Mendel, actually has his mounted there. Prussia um, has his, the, the guy who actually did the original designing on this, he actually has his laid flat here. And I think that's also the way the Maker Gear kit's going to be having theirs. Um, you can choose to mount your power supply to the bot, or you can just have it ran separately. Um, let's see. Um, you need to make sure it gives you directions on how to do your optos so that they trigger correctly. Um, one thing, main thing you need to make sure is that your opto end stop goes inside enough to get this back up here. It's a good thing about aluminum is it's very easy to fix. So you want your flags to go that resistance like that. That is the proper way an opto and stop should go in. And you should have that on each one of your axes. 
But that's the electrical setup for the Prussian Mendel. I hope this cleared up any um, confusion you had. Um, if I've messed this up in any way, please comment in the video.